What's up guys, we are now on the train in Washington DC for my first city open. I am super excited to find out more and to do more with this tournament. It's going to be men and women's tournament, ATP 500 event, WTA tournament before the US Open. So I'm, I'm super excited. We got a lot of traveling to go. We are, let's see, it's, it's almost 9 o'clock right now. We are scheduled to get there by 1.30 and then we're going to go straight to the tournament and get our press credentials. And we're gonna start exploring. Uh, my Airbnb check ins not until 5, but I'm really excited to be a part of this opportunity to show you guys what the city open is like behind the scenes. We have a lot to cover, so stay tuned. Here we go. soon um i have my own closet check that out but the unfortunate part of it is i have to have everyone look at me while i change this vlog we are going to join bonnie one of our good uh family friend of ours uh family's friend's friend and we are going to talk to her and we're going to talk to her about the veterans clinic that she's going to be running tomorrow and be a part of and we're going to be able to film and get to know some of the veterans get to know uh what they do there and what uh how this all came about so uh, we're going to stay tuned for that and i hope to and i'm going to see you guys tomorrow and day two starts now we are starting out our day two right now. We are headed to our Uber pool. I've never done this before. There's a lot of new experiences for me, so bear with me. So uh, headed to the Uber pool, and then we're going to meet up with Bonnie. We're going to meet up with that veterans clinic. We're going to talk about what she does for the USTA as well as her role uh, at the tournament as well. So I can't wait to get started today. Uh, we got a lot of more qualifiers today, and we have two T-shirts for Vasic and Alley Kick. Uh, Ali, we did the interview with, and Vasic won the uh, Speed Group Challenge at the Newport Open. So we're going to try to get them those t-shirts as well, and hopefully we'll get a photo as well. Stay tuned.
you to take us through uh, Thanks USA, what you do, what you're okay. a part of it, and your history. All right. Okay. <laughs> so um, I met Thanks USA because one of the ways that they raise funds is through um, tennis tournaments, like pro-am mm. tennis tournaments. So mm. I went out to cover it. I work for U.S. Tennis Association. Mm -hmm. I went out to cover this tournament, met them, and um, just thought it was a wonderful organization, a great history. Um, they were started by two young girls that saw their neighbor um, come back from the war injured, and what could they do for the family? And so they said, oh, we could start a scholarship fund. So they started the scholarship fund, and then they used these tennis events to, um, to raise funds. So I covered it. it. just meant so much to me. I said, well, let me help out a bit more and talk on your behalf, and uh, eventually ended up as an ambassador for them. And then um, I run a tournament for them. I played 36 consecutive tennis matches wow. on their behalf to help raise funds for um, for their uh, scholarship mm -hmm. uh, yeah. program. I understand. Um, that's that's kind of it. That's where we've evolved. And, Fantastic. Um, yeah. And you're you have two children in the military I currently. Do. My daughter and her husband are mm -hmm. both uh, in the army. Mm -hmm. They are. Um, my daughter's a captain, son is son in law's a first lieutenant. Very good. And stationed out in Port, uh, Port Carson, Colorado. Right so, here. how does the military and tennis kind of combine for you? What does that mean? I mean, it's. I love, I'm passionate about both things. Mm -hmm. And uh, tennis is a great sport. Tennis is actually one of the sports that is considered the best for preparing someone mm -hmm. to go into the military. Mm -hmm. um, the independence that it encourages, the preparation, the self-discipline, all those things mm -hmm. transfer very well to going into the military. My daughter did actually play tennis, yeah. and so it sort of you know, fit that she moved mm -hmm. into the military. Um, the, the ability to make decisions on your own, but also to follow what your coach is telling you. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's, a, it's a great combination. Um, we use the tennis to, to promote military um, mm -hmm. programs or, you know, just generally the people that are in the military mm -hmm. and it's a great venue to raise funds for the military. So what is it like having a ceremony, the swearing in here at the City Open? So that's useful stuff to me. <laughs> I was just like, um, and of course Rear Admiral Buck was amazing mm -hmm. when he spoke, but to see these young people that um, you know, less than 30% less than of the kids in high school could even be considered eligible to apply to the military. Mm. So for grades, for um, things like you know, being in trouble with the law or, or drugs or uh, their, their physical conditions, they're not, they're not uh, eligible to even apply. Mm -hmm. And then of that 30% of students, really you only get like one in every 500 or so that actually sign up for the military. Something like this shows them what it means to be in the military. and, and what it means to serve your country. And these young people that signed up today, they are, they're going, they're immediately getting a salary as soon as they sign up. They're getting, uh, learning discipline, they're, they're learning skills um, that, that transfer easily to life. They're getting, they're building a uh, college scholarship fund. So a lot of these might be in only maybe four years, mm -hmm. but when they come out, their college is paid for. Yeah as opposed to these kids that say, well, I'm going to go off to this big school and end up with hundreds of thousands of dollars in scholarship, uh, in um, debt, debt yeah. Yeah. college loan debt. So awesome. um, it's a great preparation for life. And just to see them, I mean, like I said, it's just such a small percentage of our population that do this. Mm -hmm. And to be able to honor them and show that to the rest of the world, I think it's really spectacular. Awesome. So after talking to Bonnie, it's a great organization. It's a great story that she's telling, a great story that she's trying to convey, not just to me, but to everyone around. These scholarships really, uh, these scholarships are really great for these kids. And I think I'm gonna leave a link down below in the description so you guys can check it out as well. Definitely check it out. Uh, one of the greatest things that I've seen here. Uh, really moving stuff, really moving. Uh, definitely check it out.
dear God, the sun's bright. But just wanted to say thank you to everyone for enjoying today's vlog, both yesterday's and today's vlog, but I wanted to combine the two just to make it shorter because that way we didn't have 10 vlogs instead of just eight. But thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope you guys enjoyed the military, the content, the playing. Make sure to check us out on all our social medias, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Make sure to check out all those. Check out our website to keep up on our daily vlogs, tweenerheadtennis.com. And make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. Hope to see you guys tomorrow. Hope to see you guys for the rest of the week. Thanks, guys.